Hey everyone, head golf professional Tim Harris here. Wanted to talk to you today about uh, protocol in the bunkers, especially how you rake the bunkers and where you want to place the rake when you're done playing from the bunker. Uh, starting this year, the golf committee has gotten together and with the recommendation of our superintendent, Johnny Ingram, uh, we have decided to now we want to place the rakes inside the bunker after you play from them. I know uh, we've had the rakes out there in the bunkers now for the better part of a year, which was a little bit of a change from before when we had the rakes on the golf carts. Uh, going forward, we're going to keep the rakes in the bunkers, but it'll help our superintendent and his crew if we can leave the rakes inside the bunker, and I'll show you how we want to place them. Um, right now, the rakes have stickers on them saying, teeth in, handle out. We're going to replace those with, please leave the rake in the bunker. But I figure while we're doing that, we'll also show you the right protocol on how you should rake the bunker as well. So I just played a shot from the bunker, as you can see here, left a divot. I got my footprints here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rake and I'm going to rake as I'm exiting out towards me. So I'm going to grab the handle and I'm going to pull the rake here. If there's some uneven spots, you can even take the underside of it and smooth it out if you want, if it's a little bit rough before you rake. But as I'm raking, I'm pulling it towards me and I'm exiting out the low side of the bunker. So as you can see, I'm exiting out the low side here. I'm trying to get all my footprints raked up, try to make the surface as smooth as possible for the next person that might be in that uh, bunker behind me. And now after I've done completing the uh, raking, I'm going to leave the rake now inside the bunker. So how I'm going to leave it in is I'm going to try to put it on a flat spot as close as possible to the edge, parallel to the line of the bunker. So it's parallel to the line of the bunker here and I have the rake inside the bunker. You're going to start seeing the stickers now that say, please leave your rake in the bunker. And then you can go on from there. Um, there's really no one right way to do it. Rake outside the bunker, rake in the bunker, teeth in, handle out. It's really at the uh, discretion of the club itself. Our superintendent would prefer that we have them in the bunker to help his crew out when it comes time to mowing the roughs so they don't have to always pick up the rakes and remove them. So I just wanted to go over that with you as we go forward, and uh, thanks for your time. Looking forward to a great season.